Hey guys, Hippie Hollow one here. Welcome back to another video, and today we are here with the Lionel TMCC PRR M1A482 Mountain Type Steam Locomotive. Now, to simplify that introduction a little bit, because there's a lot of words and numbers, um, this is a model by Lionel. Uh, it is equipped with TMCC. It's not equipped with Legacy of the Pennsylvania Railroad's M1A class steam locomotive. Um, basically. It was built by the Pennsylvania Railroad, it was classified as an M1A, uh, and it has a mountain type wheel arrangement, meaning it has four wheels up here, eight drivers, and two wheels on the back. This was classified on almost every railroad as a mountain type, except for the New York Central, where the 482s were called Mohawks. But we're not going to talk about Mohawks, we're here to talk about the better version. And to all you New York Central fans out there, I apologize, I am definitely a Pensy guy. Uh, anyway, so if you're familiar with my channel at all, you know that this engine is my all-time favorite locomotive. Um, to the point where I designed and scratch-built a LEGO model of this thing, and I own an HO model of it. Um, but yeah, I, I love these things, and this is this engine's actually my dad's, um, and he very, very rarely lets me run it, but he's letting me do it, and I'm doing a video on it because, you know, I just fixed the headlight, but we're not going to talk about that. Um... But yeah, so uh, let's get into some history, because this is one of the very few engines I actually know a lot of the history on. The first M1 was built in 1923, and it underwent three years of very extensive testing before the Pensy finally decided that they would use that as their multi-purpose engine. Basically, these engines were built to haul both passenger and freight trains. Now, these engines had 72-inch drivers, which were considered to be too small for passenger, yet too big for freight, and uh... All that proved wrong, as these engines were fantastic in both operations. Now there were three different variations of the M1s. The M1s, the M1As, and the M1Bs. The M1s being the first in the series, the M1As having slightly more improvements, and then the M1Bs being the post-war version of this class of engine. And basically, they all look like K4s with another set of drivers, and that was pretty much it. Um, that's how I think of it anyway. But the M1B is the only class that is currently existing. M1B number 6755 is the only remaining M1 class locomotive left. Um, it's currently on display at the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum in Strasburg, and it's kind of falling apart. But I hope they get around to restoring that. That would be fantastic. But this engine that you see in front of here is number 6759. It's M1A number 6759, which was actually on display at the 1939 World Fair. So... This engine actually has some pretty cool history to it. So the M1s came with a 210F75 series tender. Um, the M1s had a 75, the M1As had a 75A, and the M1Bs had a 75B. Uh, I'm assuming because this is a model of an M1A that this is an, a uh, 75A tender, but not entirely sure. I'm not super into the history on the tenders. But anyway, so these were called either long distance or coast to coast tenders. I call them coast-to-coast -coast tenders because coast-to-coast -to -coast tenders sounds cooler. Um, but these things were massive, and when they were fully loaded, they would oftentimes weigh more than the engines that they were put behind, including the M1s, um, which weigh a lot. But it's just, these these tenders are so cool. They also have a doghouse, which was kind of commonplace on the Pennsylvania Railroad, um, on their really big tenders. Uh, it was basically just a shelter for the brakemen, um, but it's, it's a really cool feature, and I love these tenders because... They are huge, and they're roughly the length of the engine, unlike most tenders that are maybe half the size or three quarters of the size of the engine. These things are absolutely colossal. So this particular engine was built around 2001, I think. Um, Lionel more recently put out a legacy version of this engine, which if you have that engine, congratulations, you have this thing um, with a different number and different colored marker lights and a different sound system. Other than that, it's pretty much the exact same model. I'm pretty sure they just dug out the old tooling and redid it. Uh, which isn't a bad thing, because this is a fantastically detailed model. Um, the sound system on the Legacy versions, in my opinion, is actually worse than the TMCC stuff. But I love the TMCC sound, the sounds of these engines, because they're just... It's so much deeper and so much more powerful than the Legacy. It doesn't have four chuffs per revolution. It actually has two chuffs per revolution, which isn't super prototypical, but if you're me and you're not really, you don't care about that stuff, you know, it's whatever. Um, the rest of the sounds easily cancel that out. 
uh, and the chuff when it chuffs is super heavy and it sounds so good um, but anyway now that I've talked about this for you know how long because you can look at the video and I can't do that let's power this thing up and run it around a little bit
And there you have it. That is the Lionel TMCC Pennsylvania Railroad M1A482 Mountain Type Steam Locomotive. Um, like I said, I love this engine. Uh, I love the sound system in it. Uh, as you just heard, it is it's something else. I, I wish that the sound systems were still made this way. Um, it's It sounds so powerful. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this engine. I, you might not like it as much as I do, or you may like it more than I do. Let me know. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed, and I am CWHolo1, and have a good day, or maybe good night in your case. See ya.